Guys, and welcome to Alice VR. What? Hey there, guys, and welcome to Alice VR. Uh, uh, what? Seriously? Hey there, guys, and welcome to Alice VR. Oh, wow. Wow. What a great first impression this is. Well done, devs. Well, hey there, guys. Welcome to Alice Cough <coughs> VR. <coughs> Released by Carbon Studios, October 2016. It's supposed to be a VR game, and it even uh, supposed to support motion controls. But guess what? It doesn't support the Oculus Rift motion controls. How nice. Wonderful. So here I am, wearing my wonderful Oculus Rift headset, using an xbox controller fan blooming tastic anyway not off to a great start on this first impressions let's just hope the game can prevail itself hey eh? uh, right so let's get into it that's a new game okay um interesting <laughs> what's this uh Anything supposed to happen? I'm seeing the weird flickering on my uh, display and some weird artifacting going on. I'm not too sure what that is. Hello. Oh, okay, here we go. Wake up, Alice. You are on board a spaceship. The Red Queen. My name is Hart, and I'm the computer controlling this vessel. I woke you Ugh. because you are required to make repairs. There was a malfunction in the power system. Head to the engine room for further instructions. Okay, I can tell you now straight away, this is just not right. A VR game like this, first person perspective, and I'm using an analog stick on a controller to move. It's just... Memory loss. Let me remind you that you're a part of an important mission headed toward the Arnold system. However, I was forced to wake you ahead of schedule. Oh, wonderful. Thanks for that. Okay, cryogenic deck damage, okay. Yeah. The other thing is, as well, is the direction I face is the direction I travel. What? What's that about? I mean, and and yet and the turning with the right stick it just doesn't seem right oh it's a bit nauseating to be honest with you can't help but feel this is it's like a mobile game so far tacked into uh pc fire on deck okay can I sprint or anything? I'm pressing triggers, buttons. And to be honest with you, I, the, to me is the scaling a bit off. Oh, I really don't like that. I don't like that when I turn my, I can't walk. Oh, can't walk and um, turn my head without it going in that weird direction. I press A to use. Um, that's for nothing. Okay. Oh, that no, that that is weird. That doesn't seem right. And oh, it just—I've got all the settings on Epic, and yet it looks really quite grainy. And I've got this horrible white blob moving around like that. Okay, so I can open that. Okay. All right, that's orange. I'm assuming I can't go that way. Um, hmm. It's just 
Listen, I systems of your suit are working properly. It will guard you against any direct contact with environmental hazards, such as a cloud of hot steam. So I have to like stop, literally stop to actually uh, be able to turn properly. Right, what have I done there? Alright, can't do anything with that. I've just pressed on that. No. Nope. This. Uh, no, it's just. Oh. Uh, no, that just feels wrong. Okay, try and read that text. So, hall, MC4, ship bay control, engineering, engine room. Right, so, which way am I supposed to be going? It'd be nice if it actually gave me some sort of indication, at least. Well, let's see, will this open? Yes, it will. But it looks like a dead end. Okay, so maybe not that way. It doesn't seem to be uh, any kind of sprint. Right, okay. Living quarters, door that's stuck. Hmm, what's this? Engine room. Can I do anything with that? Yes, I can. Well, well, is this an elevator? I'm guessing. Right. Looks like it's locked over there. No. Uh, Alice, due to the malfunction, the ship's main power generator doesn't produce enough power. Ooh. You have to activate the auxiliary generator. Use the shrinking device to reach the control panel. Guys, I really don't know if you can see what exactly what I'm seeing here, but what I'm seeing is a mess of... Oh, it looks ropey and... Oh, God. And this is like maximum settings. And seriously, the scaling just seems... Wrong. Why? Why can't I move? What? What's stopping me? Let's come back this way. Right. What? What? Oh, I shrunk. Okay. Interesting. Right, so I'm assuming I could go this way then. Oh, what? Well, no, <laughs> no reaction to them bumps there whatsoever. Oh, I'm not. I really. I'm not feeling comfortable playing this game at all. It's not fear anything I'm starting to get the um, sweats already because all the, the, it's just so artificial it just it looks awful feels awful to play using a gamepad really wish that fan that, uh, there was actually blowing something at me because yeah but it just looks so ropey and Awful. And so far, they just. It's like. Apart from touching some things on walls, it's like. I don't. I, ain't got, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Can't go that way. Uh, invisible wall. Can't seem to go that way. Hang on, is that another weird touch thing on the wall there? So I'm assuming that'll um, blow me back up again in size. Why would you design a ship or something with the ability to, uh, with the need to actually shrink 
yourself. That doesn't make sense. Arrange the connectors elements so that they can connect. Okay. Right, so. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> Again, I had to move my head to move this weird pointer. It just... right. That down. Right, so connect. Connect to what? Huh? Right, that doesn't seem to want to move again. I must admit, I'm quite a simple person. Uh, I'm not great with puzzles. So I'm obviously being a bit dumb here. Um, hmm. Is there really something I'm missing? Hang on. Right, if I uh, look at those patterns. Okay, let's... I'm wondering if there's a connection between them. Arrange the connector's elements so that their contact points match. Right, so the coin, uh, contact points match. So I need to check the patterns and get them to line up. So really I could do with that one, probably line up with that one. Let's try that. Oh, this is... Uh, uh, right. This game's not making me feel too good at all. I played a lot of VR games. Started to really get my VR legs, but this, no. Oh, there we go. That was very exciting. Uh, yeah. Right, I've done that. What now? Oh. You've managed to avert further power loss. That's good, but you still have one more task before you. Head to the robotics hub. Take a left after exiting the machine room. Oh, God. Ah, uh, now get that weird watering sensation in my mouth. Yeah. Um, yeah. Feel the uh, like temperature building up on the forehead. It's not a good sign. That that is not a good thing. <sighs> Just nothing natural about the motion you in this whatsoever. Main deck. I don't know if that's where I'm supposed to be going. Okay, deja, deja vu again. No, no, I'm done, guys. <laughs> I'm done. I'm feeling a bit wobbly on my feet. The game looks horrendous, uh, grainy. I mean, it could probably be all right if it wasn't so grainy looking. But I do not like the fact I can't use motion controls. So it doesn't feel natural I'm using a stupid gamepad. I couldn't even... I tried, uh, I tried it seated. Couldn't get it uh, to work properly that way. So I had to do it standing. So again, that makes it feel even more awkward. And yeah, I, I, right now... No. <laughs> Sorry guys, really can't carry on with this. Uh, first impressions, all I can say is... Alice VR... Screw you. Crap. Hate it. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, sorry to let you guys down. But um, if you did enjoy um, this first impression, and I'm trying to just be honest here, but if you did enjoy it, um, please hit us uh, like. Yeah, sorry guys, I can't even talk properly. Yeah, smash that like button. Um, hit subscribe. And yeah, this has uh, been a horrible disappointment. Alice VR, yeah. 
not worth the money. I got it in a flipping bundle. Thank God it was flipping cheap. Yeah, not worth it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. And uh, yeah, bye. Oh. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs>